costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience that lifts you when you are down. Criteria 
of support. What is that supposed to mean? No more bloody money, precisely. <laughs> well, what exactly are their um, criteria for support? Well, we no longer offer you know, sort of theatre for children or ethnic and sexual minorities. We don't do anything for prisons. Uh, we don't have any disabled actors. So, to be honest, we, we just... Uh, Crap! Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a lovely attitude to take. They no longer support theatre for the masses. You can hardly describe our audience as masses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they stay away in the droves. So we've had it then? Well, the Arts Council did offer one ray of hope. Oh, what's that? They're not going to ask for their money back. <laughs> oh, bloody <laughs> terrific! No, I'm afraid there's only one way out of this crisis, and that's to make a huge profit on the next production. <laughs> Shock or offend. <laughs> and then you watch and they'll flock in. And 
Then what? Well, then we give up a nice little fuss. <laughs> Hang on. I can see a flaw, you know? If you get them in here thinking they're going to get a view of Marcus Tits, you got to come up with the goods. <laughs> you leave my tits out of this! That's just the point. We can't. There'll be a bloody riot. <laughs> no, they will be. Look, they'd be too embarrassed to admit that that's the reason why they came. They won't say a word. This is cheap and vulgar. Yes. In fact, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's it called then, this play of yours? Last Tango in Little Commander. Oh, my God. <laughs> is it a musical? <laughs> <laughs> no, Joss, it is not a musical. I could never face the bunch of you. You all whispered to poster to me. Ain't we funny posters? Just leak some of the information to Audrey Thomas. Oh. <laughs> Audrey Thomas has plenty of brilliant in lobby around the village and said that. But what's it about then, this, this play? Well, that's a bit of a masterstroke, really, because it's about <coughs> the butcher and Audrey Thomas. It <laughs> not make it any sense you at all. No, it's about the village of Gamarman. Look, I based all this loosely on the characters of in the village, all right? How loosely? Well, media loose. And this guy's been quite tight. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! <laughs> the sordid revelations of an apparently respectable village. <laughs> we'll be lynched! No, we won't be looked at lynched. They're going to recognise themselves in the play, and they won't dare do that. But what do you think? Right. This is madness. Joyce? Well, couldn't you put just one song in? <laughs> Joyce, sing it. I'll make you a little song. Yes. Good girl. <laughs> well, I still think Margaret ought to lob at it, sir. Margaret is not lobbing anything out, thank you very much. <laughs> what sort of set can you build for, let's say, 200 quid? 200 quid? What we can afford it with this one? Well, for 200 quid, you can have hydraulics. You can have a real bloody wall. <laughs> Good, man. See, now we can see the potential. Now, come on, Margaret. I need your support. So is she, if she loves those tits, sir? Shut up, Margaret. Go on, give me an air in. Where's the big old stage way to that man's head? Oh, ignore it, Margaret. It is me that's asking you, okay? You realise that this means the end of our society. Anyway, look, what do you want to do? Do you want to go out with a ripper or do you want to go out with an almighty bang, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, do I get to play the lead? Of course. No flashing the tits? No. Unless, of course, I deem it absolutely essential to the plot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to think it over. Ah, oh, that's all right then. Well, if you say no, I just offer the part to join. All right. I thought about it. I do it. Excellent. No, then. Any other business? No. Right. No. Okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I suggest that we reconvene at the same time next week, where we're going to begin our rehearsals. All right. Come and have a look. See what I'm going to try and do for you. I suggest. <laughs>
testing off, man. Oh, Wouldn't get a bloody part, all right? But I am, so you're doing it, okay? End your story. Know that. Uh, look, the first bit is just my notes and so on, all right? So we take it to the top of um, page two. That's Mark's entrance, okay? Ready, Bernard? Are you not in yet? Yes, you are, then. Top of page two. Where? Top of page two. Butcher. Top of page two. Not the bottom, not the middle, the top. Come on, man. You know, Bernard, I know you said you couldn't act, but I was hoping you could bloody read, right? <laughs> <laughs> top of page two, no bloody butcher! That's page three. It's my page two. What happened to page two? I got two page two. It's ah, no, well, you said what? But no page three. Bernard, you got two page three. No. I got two page three. Yes. Right. But no page four. My baby ran through there. I got three of the buggers. <laughs> Joyce, uh, you get Bernard. You are at that page three. But he's already got a page three. So what's the problem? No bloody page two! Who's got like two page twos? Me! <laughs> well, give a page two to Bernard. No, just bloody one and a half! Margaret, you better give your other page three to Joyce. And um, I think one of your page fours to Margaret. There you go. Everybody alright, man? I still have too many page fours. God's sake, tell you. Let me know. Come on. <laughs> right, let's go. Top of page two, Margaret's entrance. Yeah. Look, just start reading through it. Right, okay. Right, my entrance. You ready, Bernard? I suppose so. Margaret, I tells. What am I carrying? What? It says Margaret, I'm just carrying a. Something. I'll read it right now. Love. Love? No. Sorry. A limb! Oh! A limb! Oh, right. Which then? Why? It's important to get the details of the character right, Bernard. You'll find this out. So you bloody read to it. It's my bloody leg. Left then. If you like. Or would you prefer the right? No! No, the left's alright. Just bloody the wrong way. Back 
after that, ladies and gentlemen. Now look, I'm the director here, and I'll hand out the printer's money to you, and it'll be good, honest, constructive criticism, and we'll all take it with good heart, okay? <laughs> right. Now, Bernard, that was shite. You know, you do it again, and you do it properly this time. Put some bloody life into it. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Duffield. Better. What can I get you today? <clears throat> Much better. I fancy a bit of rum. You go like you might have to win it yet. It's not an easy life to deliver, you know. Oh, pardon me, you did find out. Oh, just a matter of what is wrong with your leg? <laughs>
Yes, no, George, before one of us dies. <laughs> oh, Vicar, it's you. Ah, yes. Uh, um, yes, I could have sworn I hear you crying for help. I was just rehearsing for the forthcoming show. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Ah, uh, well, I think I'd better leave then. Yes. <laughs> I think that would be best. Right, I think I'd better leave then. Yeah. Is this in there? I'm a big pentameter. Shut up, you're on. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, Mrs. Stodge will be. Oh, right, sorry, friend. Come on, sit
Revelation 7. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, we got one day left, one day, then the biggest audience you've ever seen in your life is going to descend on this place, and nobody knows their bloody lives. Now, come on, let's get on with it. Same place again, please. Ailey, go on with you, Mrs. Pilkington. What's going on between you and my husband?
Are the best still, please? Twelve years we've been here. Mm. A cabaret club. Oh, well, I suppose that club. Yeah. Well, at least we have another plan. And a song. And a capacity crowd. <laughs> First time in living memory. Or should I say, memory? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bernard. I'll miss you a subtle sense of humour. I always did. Well, it's a shame, really. We didn't get to see the left one. I hope it's better than the right. Well, maybe this is your chance, Bernard. Oh, what's that? The sequel. More tangos in Little Commander. We've already got a massive advance on our tickets here. The only problem is Audrey Thomas wants 5% of the show. <laughs> but what about the cabaret club? Ah, now you see, I heard a phone call off uh, David Prudder this morning. Apparently, we're just the sort of actor he's looking for. So anyway, we're booked for the opening night, okay? Strictly professional, of course. Oh my God. Well, what are you waiting for? I reckon you're going to stop here in a Margaret, I reckon you're going to work in that wiggle look. Is that stupid, <laughs>
Now you need to cook it. Guys? <laughs> <laughs> How many joys? Fifteen. Fifteen joys. And of those fifteen joys, how many were your family and good friends? <laughs> Joyce? Twelve. Twelve joys. Are you still entitled to a boat? Are you still entitled to a boat? But look, Mother, it hardly represents a groundswell in an opinion, of, does it? You see, are you wasting my time here? <laughs> the simple fact is, Gordon, you just don't recognize talent when you Oh, well, 
It's the one you then let go of. <laughs> I got sidetracked with it, as I got flattened, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't you just call for help then if you went into trouble instead of all this over dramatic nonsense? <laughs> Two reasons. Two reasons, Margaret. Reason one. For the first 15 minutes, I was bloody unconscious. <laughs> Second, I just thought I'd lie there and see how long it took before you bastards realised I wasn't here. <laughs> Art is pain, Bernard. True, true, Margaret. Particularly if it's eight foot tall and smacks you on the brow. There we are, then. It only hit him on the head. No damage, Jane. Yeah. 
sorry, G E N um, R V. Yeah, yeah, R V. I said G E N R V. J E N G E N G E N R V I E R V. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, I tell you what, stay, Joyce. Just let stay. Stay. Yeah, if I don't find anything wrong, just let you listen, okay? Then you do any talk. Need to take the minutes, Gordon. To avoid any arguing later. Boy, when have you ever known us to argue? Look, you're gonna have to keep up, Joyce. I can't keep going back over things. Doing my best, Gordon. I would have short and best things coming on, Joyce, then. Oh, good, actually. I'm up to eight words a minute, with an accuracy rate of 75%. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, you can write eight words a minute, and you can actually read six of them. But that's from a standing start, though, Bernard, because 18 months ago I couldn't do any of them. Well, I think it's very commendable. You go into night school and learn in short time just to make our weekend more efficient. Don't okay. think so, God, and we get on, please. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. <coughs> Joyce, we are eternally grateful and we don't know where we'd be without your unique skills. All right? Yeah. Now, can we please attend to the matter at hand? Which was what? Forgotten them. Oh, yeah. Well, we? it's a good job I'm taking a minute, isn't it, Gordon? <laughs> Would you like me to read back over my last minute? Ah, uh, yes, please, Joyce. <coughs> <coughs> something, something style, and then Gordon said, you're going to have to keep up, Joyce. <laughs> Is that it? That's when you distracted me. Something, something stuck. Well, I put that as a long word in, but then you made me take it back out again. You were talking about your new play, good. Yeah, Thank you, Bernard. You're welcome. Yes, I was trying to explain that the right item number four on our agenda, your chairman has turned his attention to the next production. Ah, so I was holding it out. Our next production. Oh. Correct. But our next production is the panto. Precisely. You've written the panto? No, I have written the panto, Margaret. Why? Why not? <laughs> well, what's wrong with the professional panto? Well, script? there's nothing wrong with the professional script until we get over it, and then what happens? We castrate it and we offer it out to the public for consumption. That's what we do. So we've got our better productions. Margaret, I go even further. I even say that if there was a Royal Society of Adventure to cruelty to scripts, we'd be serving life. So you're suggesting then that we take up the only strong link in the chain? Oh. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, Margaret, is that a society like ours needs to have a custom written script. And why? To make sure that we can cast it with the people that we've got. To make sure that we place to our strengths. Find any. And make sure of all that we have a complete sellout. Very noble aim. How do you intend to achieve that? Well, it's easy, Margaret, because you see that uh, my panther has got a bit of a twist. Uh oh. <laughs> what sort of a twist? It's a uh, set panther. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gordon, I don't think I heard you properly then. I thought you said sex panther. I did. Good night, everybody. I'm off. Come on, Grant. Come on, look. Look, Wait, you're going to be out, man. No, if a panto is anything, it's a traditional piece of family entertainment. I refuse to be part of this perversion. But that's where, look, this is so clever. Now, come on, Margaret, let's face it. Our problem is we have a major, major issue with pandas every year. I watched it happen. Look, the audience have shrunk year by year. Oh, God. You know, think about it, look. You win, right? Family out it, everybody excited, kids really enjoy it, mum and dad sit there, and people stay. You too. Now, then, what happens then? Mum says, come on, kids, I'll take you to the matinee. And then dad says, oh, hang on a second, I'm gonna I'm not going to go for this way. You three. And mum says, I've got enough of this. Kids, there's a fire, go on your own. <laughs> You're four. Oh, wonderful, you're poor. The kid says, ah, oh, the pantomime, give us a fiber, we're going to bloody pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, that's the difference of what I'm trying to do. Because
because my plant will work on two different levels. Yeah, but I don't want to be scared to level. When you want to learn to trust me, Margaret. When you learn a bit of common sense, Scott, you're playing with fire. There's a principle about you that's bigger than all of us. Well, you're a great believer in democracy, Margaret. So why don't we leave it to the people? Bernard, what do you say? She's flat, my banana. Oh, and that's your last word on the subject, is it? What? The panto, Bernard. What about the panto? Oh, you know me. As long as your standards flats and, and I don't have to be in it, I don't give a step what we do. Oh, God, remind me to put you on a reading committee next year. I'll tell you what, Bernard, that sort of insight is so bloody valuable, I tell you. That was supposed to be my tea. <laughs> Joyce, you've been fairly quiet up to now. What do you think, Joyce? Joyce? Shh. <laughs> Are you? Are you doing all right to go down? Yes, but where are you, Joyce? The bit where you said something about torture and scripts. Well, that bit slowed me down because there was a word I didn't understand. What word, Joyce? Castrate. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's got something to do with the cast, and rape is speed. Rape. So is it like how fast the cast learn their lines? So <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at Bernard? <laughs> Choice! It means chop off your bones! We <laughs> don't want a bloody technicolor, do we? What, <laughs> okay? Oh, gosh. Joyce! This is 
society has held over the years is one of failure. If the audience get any smaller, we may as well do a door to door tour. <laughs> God, look what we're up against in the competition, right? Big budget, professional acts. You know, what have they got? They've got orchestras, they've got special effects, they've got actors. You know, and what have we got? Nothing. Well, we have the bloody cat in hell's chance. So we've got to have something else to try to We've got to give them something different. Well, it's certainly bloody different. Well, yes, and I'm proud of that. Look, I'm fed up with the cast up number in the audience. You know, I know, sir, but I'm fed up with the ex sportsmen and, and the hack sports stars who are stealing our glory. Now, come on, are we going to lie down and die? No. Let's give both of them right a knock for a second. Let's give them. Um, uh, bringing all that knockout punch, shall we? Let's show those TV stars that there's more to the theatre than acting. Well, you're not. Uh, <laughs> well, it's traditionally pantomime for the male lead to be played by a female. Yes, it is, Margaret. Am I correct in assuming that one tradition will not be ditching? You may. Is this week to see we can say we get to see her in our times again? Bernard, I'm in a very delicate situation at the moment, all right? So, shut up! Will I have any um, editorial control of the script? Oh, yes, the usual clause. Any word you can't remember on the night, you can leave out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, I'll do it. Uh, yes. On Brilliant. that, on my finisher, I want my reservations minuted. Hey, hang on, Joyce. Leave it, right? Treat it as bloody old work. Okay, so Doc, what I suggest we do now is the next item on the agenda, because of this trip, I think we ought to sort of agree a date for our reviews. Oh, well, all right, time, yeah. so can you all get the diary? I know, 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 I got a class for the job remote. <laughs> Wednesday then. No, that's me short. Oh, 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 no, I must make a miss for the Lord. Must be Joyce. We don't let the four be in the place, do we, lad? <laughs> Tuesday then. Oh, no, we can't for Tuesday. That's my late night in Carmen. It's not Tuesday. I'm not ready here. That's Thursday. I can't make it the ultimate Thursday because I have WF. Right. Which ultimate Thursday <laughs> can you make? This one can make. Oh, well, that's not good. We're not going to make that, can you? Uh, what about. Monday week then. What's that? Uh, the 8th. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, good, good night. Yeah? Okay. Oh, good. There's right. a party. Oh. Sorry. The 9th? That's a Tuesday. Yeah. That's a Tuesday. The 10th? No, that's a Wednesday. Not sure. <laughs> the 11th? Yeah. That's an alternate Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, the 18th? Yeah. That's no good. You said you were right for every other Thursday, but not for the day. It was a bloody day, <laughs> right? Look, the way we're going to have to start looking at the weekends. Are oh, no, no weekends, no, right? We've got spare. Some of us do have other lives outside of society, you know? No weekends, no Tuesdays, no Wednesdays, no bloody alternate Thursdays. Okay, so let's have a look at what about the following Monday? That's the um, 22nd. Yeah, that's all right. Good. Yeah, it's all right for me. Good. 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 Oh, sorry. 25th. Yeah. That's an alternate Thursday. <laughs> 29th. Yeah. No, I've never heard of that. Oh. <laughs> uh, under the first. It's my birthday. Oh. Yes. Cancel it. I can't. Oh, look, fine. Happy bloody birthday. Come to rehearsal. All right? <laughs> Sacrifices, you, Joyce. It's once a year, Gordon. So is that bloody hand door. Yes, I've got to go once. Well, hang on, hang on. Crisis averted. I'm all right on the 13th. It's a Tuesday, but right? that's okay with me. Wait a minute, the 13th, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 yes, brilliant. Okay, let's put it down in the 13th. Hooray, we finally got somewhere, don't we? 13th, right. Oh, shit. Problem, Gordon? Oh, well, I can't make the 13th, I'm afraid. Boring birthday. Well, you understand, don't you, Joyce? Cancel it. Nice one. <laughs> 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 All right, what about the uh, 12th? No, sorry. That's one Monday, I can't make it. Okay. Oh, okay. 15th? Yeah. Is that a Thursday? Yes, Bernard, that's a Thursday. Uh, no, neat. No. Yeah, 19th? No. no. 
26. Yeah. Yeah. 29th. Oh, no. Second. No, no. Ninth. That's a Wednesday. That's a bloody bingo, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> It's 
Hans, Margaret. But I tell you, so if you want to say, who's actually cropped in? Look, I did do a little bit of a rush, okay? But I'm sure if you read it in the right context, you'll all get through it, okay? It's Cat, Margaret. It's Dick with And it's Cat, okay? So come on. We sing, son. What? Oh. It says by you, Dick Wissingson and Hit Cats. <laughs> Not the odd type of dog, and the whole thing written in the States. <laughs> Go on, this thing word crosses a few words. You didn't get it from Dyke Rather, did you? Oh. <laughs> 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 you did then, Mike. Right? <laughs> <laughs> something more than you, is it, Oh, oh, oh. dodgy yeah. software bank. What, boy? Yeah, you got a job long enough, you tried to sell me, whatever. <laughs>
How would Meryl Streep say me out? <laughs> All the jokes are there. You think Meryl. Channel Meryl. Let's just move on, shall we? Bottom of the page. Bernard, we're on, boy. Where? Pat my moss. All oh, right. You gentlemen, by the non-speaking end. Oh, suits me. I want to tell you that. Want me to do the sound effects? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you do that? Just clip it. Shut up, John. 
Christ. All right, all right. Let's not panic over this, is it? Let's just work it out until we've got some supply lines. Well? Well, I reckon that if we don't do the pantomime, we may about draw you. And if we do do the pantomime? Go on, even think about it. You've had it then. Well, no, 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 no. Look, where there's light, there's hope, isn't it? Bernard, I want you to refocus that lamp, okay? Bernard, to look everywhere. Just fill the stage with it. Fill the stage with it? <coughs> You'll only bloody breath. <laughs> <laughs> right, now then, Margaret. Because things are a little bit tight, I'm just wondering whether you... Don't even go there, Lord. Because... It's a busy time of year. It's coming up to my students' exams. All right, I'll see if I can put it through with some sort of special end between project. Though how the hell I'm supposed to get a pant to my horse as an example of old to a god only knows. I'm sure they saw right through me last year. Well, let's put it this way, Joyce, then. One minute I'm in the canteen, pinning a poster as the Snow White for the Seven Wars. The next, I'm asking my students to design a full-length velvet gown with paper doily sleeves and seven matching outfits with pointed hats, especially tailored for the man of a shorter stature. <laughs> you haven't got to be able to work it out, do you, love? Look, this is the office party. I'm not up yet. That suits me. Anything else? Not much. Old Dave's costume for me, I suppose, you know, the usual thing. Um, uh, outrageous dress. Huge breasts yes. and, and a funny act. Oh, Joyce, could you ask your mother to call her? Hey, child. Well, of course, I'm dick with it, and it'll be you with the watch oh, that. Hat, feather, and it's your chimney. It's a good idea, yeah. And I wonder what you know, um, think of oh, a stick with a bag. Yeah, 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 I got yeah. all that. That's all I've got. What about me? What about you, Joyce? No, thank you. Right, it's special, is it? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. so cat, right? So we've got yeah. cats, yours, whiskers, and you take the big
trace that horse's costume on in the dress rehearsal. It'll be all right. Well, at least we should have tried one of the end doesn't fit. Should have oh, tried that. So you worry about your end, okay? Talking around my end. I hope we are not a carry last night. So <laughs> just too much yet that we do. Oh, I haven't got time. I gotta fix that flat. Broke a leg 
stand up. Here we are five minutes before the curtain goes up and our leading lady has broken two rather vital limbs. Ah <laughs> yes, well there we go. Well, and you I forgot to tell me I'm the Joyce. I was too excited! Oh, oh so right, you are getting too excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well look, I'm still very calm here. Very calm, Joyce. You are not going to make a fool out of me, all right? I'm not going to blow my top and then have Margaret Storm out there and make a bloody fool out of me, okay? Because I tell you what, I mean, you, I mean, you look frightened, but it's, um, you, you do look frightened. No, Margaret, and, ah, Joyce, there's only one thing wrong with this, because either you're acting, right, or you're really frightened. Yep. You're not acting, are you, Joyce? No. She's not bloody coming, is she, Joyce? No. What, 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 what the bloody hell happened? She slipped on a banana skin. <laughs> <laughs> slipped on a banana skin? Now, the bloody hell skin, you took that away. I might even live in a bloody cartoon, yeah, right? What the hell? Who slipped on a bloody banana skin? It was on the steps outside, and what she's on. Oh, on the steps outside? Who would leave a banana skin on it? Uh. Bernard! God, it's a bit smelly, oh! Get your bloody tights on! What oh. is he? Look, thanks to the bloody ape man of commandment, our leading lady has not come in because he broke that bloody leg. What? Yeah, now get your bloody tights on because you were doing the part. But I can't, I, I do know the words. She didn't know them either. But I can't act. Stick to <laughs> We're all going to the back end of the horse. Look, we'll manage, Bernard, all right? You can't have a man playing Dick Whipton's and Gordy. It's perverse. He's playing the lead, and that's it, Joyce, right?